All right, here we go. SpongeBob's Guide to Surfing. But what it is yet? Yeah, chill, chill, chill. Surf school. Patrick. Oh, right there. What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar. Back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you know the drill. Camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because today we have one of the videos you guys have been waiting for for so long. In a recent video, you guys went absolutely insane. You guys loved the last SpongeBob cards opening, where I opened 2003 SpongeBob cards and went for insane, valuable ultra rares. And inside of here, I have the complete set, except for eight missing ultra rares. So the incomplete set. So the incomplete set. <laughs> but we will be completing that set rep pack. I already ordered an entire case of booster boxes for this set to literally get eight cards. I think everybody would be proud. Yeah, probably not my, my counselor, but. <laughs> <laughs> I got an entire case and we were gonna be opening those to throughout other SpongeBob videos until we complete the master set and get those ultra rares as well. But you guys wanted it. In 2009, they released another SpongeBob set. But this set is not the same as the 2003 one, guys. These, the first ones are made by Upper Deck. These ones are made by Tops. Do you want to know the difference? One's top shelf. No, one's on top. <laughs> one's on top, he's a top, okay? One's on top, they're the top premium brand when it comes to cards, and that is Tops. And the 2009 set has a card that is one in a 1,000 pack. Oh my God. Yes, I'm stressed out just saying it. I need that card, Parker. It's not a question. It's not like, oh, should I, could I, maybe, will I? I will and I am and I'm going to get that card. It's just a matter of when. It's a matter of when. Will it be today? I don't know. It is a artist drawn, hand drawn, Paul Tibbet art sketch for the head designer of SpongeBob. And that card is expensive. How expensive. Priceless. <laughs> Literally, they sell for like insane prices, hundreds of dollars, guys. The question is, where are the packs? Boom, baby! Right there! 2000 freaking 9. I like the package actually better than the last set. I'm just, you know, waiting for it. What? Oh, I'm a, I'm, I don't have more just this, Parker. I got more, Parker. <laughs> you oh, think I'm gonna roll, pull roll in the truck, Parker. Okay, you wanna see the rest? Yes, I wanna see the rest. Alright, well, here's the rest! Ugh. Is that it? These were a lot more expensive. <laughs> How much more expensive? You only got two. <laughs> so, so this set, guys, is the last set. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put it in the description. This is the last set, but those were only $23 for the booster box. The ultra rares are super expensive, but that's because you have to buy like hundreds of them in order to pull it. These things were $250 each. Well, I can see why you only got two. So, right here. Thing is, I ordered them both. They are both the same value, but one of them, 24 packs, three trading cards, plus a stick of gum. What? <laughs> and then this one, that it comes with creative stickers. So it's like, I don't really know if like somewhere down the production, they're like, oh, we're out of gum. Give them the stickers. <laughs> or vice versa. I don't know. The packs inside should hopefully be the same. I'm hoping. So let's pop into these. Here we go, Rep Pack. The day we've been waiting for. We can do this. We are going to be trying to do it. Complete the entire 2009 SpongeBob top set. All right, guys. So this is going to be kind of like the last set where there's not going to be an on-screen demonstration of how we're checking them all off. Because literally, this is just like the other set. There's not a lot of recorded information about these cards. So, we're going to be figuring it out and designing the set ourselves. As we go through this, this right here is the last set. Right here, I'm going to leave this buffer page for the arcade cards right here. And we're going to start the new set right here. And this is going to be the 2008 set. And hopefully, we can complete the ultimate SpongeBob trading card binder. All right, let's pop it open. Just like it was back in the day. Not very displayable, these boxes, compared to the other one. Yeah, no. <laughs> packs themselves though are pretty sweet looking. All right, so we got 24 packs. We're gonna line them up. There's like, oh Jesus Christ, there's a lot of eyes. Oh yeah, I've got my eyes on you. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. I don't know what the cards look like, how we're gonna be ordering them, any of that stuff. So like I said, we're gonna figure that out together. So I'm opening up right now, guys. These packs right here have three cards and three trading cards, whereas these ones have six trading cards. When you're messing with the strange, strange happens. <laughs> I think there is some kind of error there. Like maybe we're not giving enough cards. Maybe that's why they're not selling. Let's release another set that's got six cards. So here we go. Let's see if we can do it. Pull a signature autograph card. Let's go. Here we go. So that is the goal is a signature series card. But as a SpongeBob completionist, I want to open the pack. I want to see if we can get the whole set and we will get that whole set. And also check out the art on the card. First card we got here, it says meet the guru. We got a stick of gum. Oh, that does not look like it is good. Good still. Oh my God, that doesn't look like gum. 
<laughs> so let's see what the cards we got here are. Ooh, dude. <laughs> I want to get to meet Johnny Depp. You know you're a good surfer when your board is twice the height of yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the next card is, I thought it was going to say, hi, yeah, it's hi, nah. Dude, we got here. Okay, so we got the classic scene of SpongeBob turning Squidward's head into an ass cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Super zeros. <laughs> so we're leaving this as a buffer pitch here. So this is number one. So we need to find the earliest card we got, which is 25. 25. And that's where we can start our run. So we'll Ooh. mark this as number one. Ew, that's disgusting. Well, that way we can know what number one is. All right, so we got the three cards we got so far in here. We're going to be adding it into here as we go and do updates once it gets bigger and bigger. But if the pack has just nothing but duplicates you guys have already seen, we might guess I might just cut that out of the video altogether. So that's if, it, if we're zooming through packs, that's why, okay? All right, next pack. Come on. Signature series. Signature series. Maybe we should flip them this way, huh? All right, see what we got here? A sponge is born! Next, we got... Ooh, wow. this is one of the artistry cards. So guys, these are what the rares are in this set, basically. These are exclusive artwork, guys, that is only in this set. You can only get these art prints in this set. So right here, we have the big one right here. We have a art card. That is awesome, dude. All right, now let's see the next card is. Looks like a common, but we'll see. Oh, it's the <laughs> big fat meanie Mrs. Puff right the there. Great Mrs. Puff. <laughs> Just like everyone wanted is a Mrs. Puff EX where they go right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see what cards we got here for the first stack here. Let's see if we can get an art card or a signature series. <gasps> no, do the secret box. The oh secret God. box art card. Okay, guys, so here is another exclusive artwork. The secret box where they basically turn moments from the show into movie posters. That is sick, right? That is so awesome. Dude, let's see the next card. The hooks. The oh. hooks. That is awesome. Okay, common. Return of the Sponge. Okay, so that's when SpongeBob comes back for his first day with the uh, Spatchatron 3000. Oh, yeah, you can see it in the artwork, man. <laughs> that old school artwork is so grainy. Who doesn't miss this old school grain? All right, next pack here. I am loving these art cards. I would love to finish the art collection altogether. All right, first card we got here. Can we get an art card or are we get a common? Oh, dude, dude. <laughs> you will be flipped by spatula. We have the movie promo card right here, guys. We are getting super lucky with the movie promo cards. I think that the three pack cards might have better odds than the six pack cards do. It's starting to look like it. It's starting to look like it for sure. So we'll see if we get into that six pack card. Let's see what the other artwork is then. All right, the next one, this one comes from Robot Chief. Oh, dude, wow. these are so sick. Okay, here we go, Weenie Hut Jr. Oh yeah, <laughs> classic episode scene right there. You're not thinking of Weenie Hut Jr. You're thinking of Weenie Hut General. That's down the street. <laughs> My friends don't hang out at Weenie Hut Juniors. You tell them, SpongeBob. All right, let's get into the next pack here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, first card we got. This one's anchovies. Okay, nice. here we go, anchovies. This one's Chum Bucket of Dr. P. Oh, dude, these are so amazing, Rep Pack. It says, the chum bucket of Dr. P. He has the prescription for evil. <laughs> That's so sick. These are amazing. It says rated, rated D for diabolical. <laughs> and the last card in that pack was Barkle Man. What did you miss? They, they, they spelled oh, man. Somebody must have had the spell check on and messed it up because that, that yeah. That's Barkle Man, he clearly. almost finished Krabby Patty by himself. He, he, could, he, he could eat an adult sized Krabby Patty. Look at those hands. Those are just as small as Parker's. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Go out of here. Oh, that's where the gum came from. <laughs> <laughs> Red alert. It's a naked Mr. Krabs. Next card we got. Oh, my. We have an art card here. It says, I touched my brain. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> I touch my brain. Unsuspecting cerebral silliness. That is freaking epic right there, dude. All right, last card of this one. Let's see what we got here. Catch a wave, another art card, but this is for the big one. This is for the promotional for the big one. So we got catch a wave. Awesome. Here we go. Let's see what we got in the next one here. Fear the bat sponge. We'll save that one for last. Let's see. Oh, we got the mayor. I think that's the most the unforgettable character in SpongeBob. The mayor. <laughs> Do you even remember they had a mayor? Yeah, no, he's, not, he's not in a lot of episodes. There's actually a mayor card, the mayor of Bikini Bottom. We got that right here. And then it says, Bah Squid Bug. 
Oh, that's a sad episode when Squidward just like crushed, you know, all SpongeBob's Christmas dreams. <laughs> now, what is the art card here? Fear the Bat Sponge. I feel like this is going to be an epic one. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh, that is sick, dude. We got the Batman SpongeBob movie cover right here. Fear the Bat Sponge. Right here. That is awesome, dude. How many art cards are there? There, I mean, we haven't pulled many duplicates. I can't even think of a duplicate. Not yet. Knocked on all the wood. Let's keep it going, Red Pack. All right, let's keep it going and see what we got here. Art cards. More art cards. I'm taking more art cards. The cards we got are the three signs. The hash looking slash, which took right, me a second right. on that one. We got Eva! And then, okay, and then oh, right yeah. here we got drinks up. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. You I, so I need it! Yeah, I might get it. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the same thing. Come on. Okay, we got an art card right here. Got an art card. Parker noticed that the back of the art cards look kind of like a movie reel, obviously like a movie. So we got that right there. We know we got an art card. Let's move that to the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know people on Instagram right now that are that thirsty. <laughs> All right. And then next we got, oh, oh yeah. Squidward's Secret. You like Krabby Patties. And the art card. Oh, yes. she, she comes from Texas. This reminds me of the Battle for Bikini Bottom movie where you have to fight the robotic Sandy. He looks giant just like that. All right, guys. So I think we might have had an idea of how this is going. I'll get fill you guys in a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure. It starts off here with the pilot episode, right? Here's the pilot episode of SpongeBob, Return to the Sponge, Anchovies, first episode ever. Then it moves on to the Tree Dome. And as we get further on, the episodes get newer and newer all the way up until you get to the beach episode the big one which at the time would have been the most recent episode of spongebob so what i think it is is this is an archive of some of the most key episodes in spongebob added up into different episodes just like tree dome the key episodes all the way up until the most recent episode that was out the big one and then these art cards summarize the other key episodes that were throughout that same time period oh, that's awesome that is awesome <laughs> All right, see what we got in the next pack here. So we dig in the art card and dude, Divine Dutchman, so oh, we're saving nice. that one for sure. I can't handle this anymore. Oh. You take your life back. <laughs> and then the next one, we got the sweet smell of Mr. Krabs. <laughs> now what is the art card, the Flying Dutchman? <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Set the seven seas ablaze with fear. The ghostly curse of the Flying Dutchman. Will they be forced to be members of his ghostly crew? He would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling kids and the dog. <laughs> <laughs> so we got another art card, guys. This is a pretty sizable set. I thought we were going to see a lot more dupes in this, but we'll keep it moving. All right, next pack here. Man, I really, the three packs makes you feel really grateful to whatever you get. The three cards in each pack is like, damn. No movie cards. Let's see what we got here. We got Chop Sponge. We got more. And we also got 24 hours. Oh, <laughs> I'm really nice. trying to be a 24 hour restaurant. Let's load these up as well. Oh, dude, the first duplicate right there. The chum bucket of Dr. P. We knew we knew this would, this would happen, right? Yeah. Eventually. We got the chum bucket. We got the big night. Okay, that's a new card, the big night. Oh, dude, double freaking card. Oh, double yes. art card. Creature with six, six testicles. What'd you say? Creature with six testicles. Tentacles. Ooh, that'd make a lot more sense. <laughs> the creature with six ten testicles. All right. <laughs> Oh, that is sick, dude. Dude, I would love that on something else. That is awesome, dude. I love this freaking card. Sinister cephalopod. That's what it says right there. Oh. You know that. I don't know. Science. <laughs> Get on in here and see what we got. Okay, that is a duplicate. That is a duplicate. That is definitely a duplicate. And this is a checklist. It came with the checklist. That's card number 90. That's actually pretty useful. So now we know that there is exactly 90 cards in the set. Did you know? I didn't know. Did I know it was a card I didn't have? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, we do have a Mr. Krabs card already. And do another art card for them for the SpongeBob big one. Boom! Right there. Get totally soaked. Stoked. Stoked. That made yeah, more sense because there's water everywhere. I just kind of said so. He's a sponge. But stoked makes it's, sense it's too. Stoked, yeah. <laughs> got that one, right? Yeah. Definitely got this one. Mm. Do you have his gub? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, wait! Okay, that's the Flying Dutchman himself. I thought this was the Flying Dutchman art card for a second, but that's the Flying Dutchman himself right there. Sick. He's breathing fire. All right, next pack we got here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Did somebody say the hash ringing, hash dinging, hash, hash pinging? Hash. No, 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 no. Hash slinging slasher. Oh, sorry. I have a speech impediment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have the hash slinging slasher right here. Let's flip that bad boy up right there. Next card we got is another one, but dang, an art card. We got both these art cards already, so moving on to the next pack. All right, come on, come on. Okay, we have SpongeBob. That's the first time of all these packs that has been 
been just SpongeBob right there. <laughs> and do another one. Do more karate. Two more cards we don't got. Very nice. And we got you. We we I love you. We got you. All right. So we got the cards in here, guys. And it looks like everything is like I assumed it was. And this is SpongeBob. He's number one. Nice. That, yeah. Oh yeah. Give her that ugly out of gum. Ooh. All right. So let's keep on going until we finish this set. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two packs left. Let's see if we get some more non duplicates. Okay, dude, check that out. Where's the night? Oh, yeah. This is from the episode, I have to say, probably from the Burger King toys. Lost in Time? Let's see. Oh, right there. Yeah. We got Lost in Time SpongeBob. It actually has a Lost in Time logo right there as well. And what do we got behind this piece of gum? Wannabe. Another card we don't have. <laughs> and then an art card. And there it is the Hash Slinging Slasher. We don't have this one. Number 89 in the set. Oh, nice. that is top. That is number one for me right now. Number one card so far. All right. Those were all cards we didn't have. We got to load those as well. All right. So this, this booster box right here, though, guys, has six cards in the pack. Those only had three for whatever reason, and they were the same price. So hopefully this helps us get it further along with the set. All right. Now, here it goes. This is the big boy. Some would say the big one. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the big one. This is the big one they've been speaking of. Still not very displayable. Man, the cards are a lot. The packs are a lot thicker. All right. Now let's get through them. Let's see what we got here. These ones. Oh, right there. Do you see what that says? Orb of confusion. That is one of the most iconic items in SpongeBob. We have an art card for it. Okay, so the Orb of Confusion, we'll save that one for last. Squidward Claws right there. We don't have that one. More got. Oh, there we go. It's a sticker card. This replaces the gum, so we'll just put this by the gum. And hey, right there, we got Sandy as well. Six cards is much better than three. That is so <laughs> much better. And then Sponge yes. Guard. We got Sponge Guard, but at this time memes weren't even around so he was just caveman <laughs> next card oh <laughs> That that's, one, that's my number one. That's, that's taking my place as number, yeah, I'm gonna say number one too. That one is epic right there. We got Man Ray with the Orb of Confusion. We, uh. <laughs> All right, let's put these ones in there as well. We are filling this up, Rep Pack. I think maybe we could do it. There we go, let's see what we got here. We got Pearl. First card, Pearl, we didn't have that one. There's a Slash Jerk, didn't have that one. The Longboard, didn't have that one. Sales gimmick, gotta keep zooming in, gotta keep getting closer. The sales gimmick, gonna have that one. And do it again, we got oh. it. Oh. <laughs> okay, we don't have not a weenie. Do this one more time. You guys won't even be able to see it. We don't have that either. And in V, we have B and X. And then the last card, try it. <laughs> we got this one, which you don't have. And then, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, nice. the chaperone art card right here. Dude, I wouldn't even have made this better if they would have had Tiberius Rex in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the next one. Uh, that's oh, also that's... create a scene. Eight out of ten. This is a create a scene card. Okay, so this is a create a scene card. We'll put that to the side. So it's a mini set within the set. And we also don't have IP. Oh, right there. I didn't even notice that yet. We got Viking SpongeBob right here. And then next we got Sponge Quest. We don't have that either. And then a ready ride. Okay, Squidward does not look like he wants to go. He looks scared. <laughs> he looks scared. Like, why am I here? Why'd you draw me here? <laughs> All right, we got the Flying Dutchman. Oh, there's our card behind it. Okay, we got that one. That one, the Big Knight. We don't have the creative scenes. We'll keep that one. Do we have R and H? We do not. Okay, sweet. So we got more letters of the alphabet there. Oh, shoot. We got Karen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I looked over and I'm like, man, what is this Windows 97 doing here? I was like, oh wait, that's Karen. All right, we got Karen, Blayton's wife. What do we got behind that? We got Patrick. Nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on. These six packs, these are, I am enjoying these six packs. Far more than the three packs. I will buy these again if I have to get more of these. So here we go. Squidward, do we nice. have this one? We do not. Squidward right there. Rock oh! bottom. Right there, we got rock bottom. That is freaking sick, dude. He's got the glove light. And then... We don't oh, have that. That is not there. Over for tea and that cookies. That goes with the tree dome. That does uh, go with the tree dome. Perfect. And the next one, why and you? Why you? I used to play with your brother on Street Fighter. Ryu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why you not get into the rest of the packs? Come on, we got, we're going. Come on. All right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> More karate. We got that one. Sponge, we got that. Let's get into the next pack and see what we got here. But man, you're getting some awesome art cards. I think we might. Let's put the rock bottom in here. I think we might be getting close to finishing the art cards. So right here, 77 rock bottom. There is 
There's one, two, three art cards missing. Three. Man, these have been so sick. They have been awesome. They have been so awesome. So let's keep it moving and see. We still have a chance, guys, of pulling that signature series card again. It is one in 1,000 packs. So the odds of it being pulled here are not in the favor, but we'll try. All right, next pack here we got Meet the Guru. We know we got that. Trading cards. We got the checklist already. We don't have Gary. Then, oh, <laughs> there's Giving Spirit where, where SpongeBob handmade a wooden freaking clarinet for Squidward. He didn't even give a damn. And then next, Z and T. Damn, dude, pretty good on the Z and then the letters here. And we got Jack Surf School. Nice. So that must be the intro card for those. So let's see. All right. Come on, come on. Never tasted one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one right there. Don't have that one. A disaster we do not have. A scene that we have actually recreated on this channel right there. The big day. Shout out to you guys that actually remember this video. Leave a comment if you remember when we actually recreated this exact scene in Spongebob. All right, and the next tough enough. Yes. We don't have that either. And Santa who? Oh, wait. I didn't even see that. I was a teenage Gary. A slimy trail of terror. That is so sick. Sick, dude. Dang, man. And then we also got this one I was trying to show you. Holy crap, guys. We are getting a lot of the cards for the set. We might be able to do this right back. God damn it. I was wrong. So it wasn't I'm ready. It is the big day. That also makes sense. But I'm okay with that just because, you know, I made a video dedicated to that scene right there. So I'm okay with that. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, right nice. there. We got Cowboy SpongeBob from Lost in Time. Oh, we don't have that. That's Hi-Na before. hi -ya! Now it's hi -ya! <laughs> hi -ya! We don't have that. The God himself, Jack Kahuna, right there, and then SV. You have my driver's license, so it's good in my life. The hooks, they return to the sponge, unfortunately, but it's okay. All right, Rep Pack, we are getting remarkably close to finishing this thing, so let's keep it moving here and let's keep going for him. Oh, right there. They came from Planet Goofball. I actually have this as a poster in that room right there. So this is where it originated from, which is cool to know. So right here, we got Planet Goofball right here. Let's see what we got behind it. We got oh. Snaily. What the hell? That's Squidward Snail Snaily. Where's Larry going to get some recognition? <laughs> you know, where's Larry's card, right? All right, we got Snaily. Man, she got a card. We do not have that creative scene. So sick. We got that AK. Where's the 47? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have AK. Hopefully there's not a 47 in here. <laughs> All right, next pack here we got Saving Sandy. Don't got that. Squidward Claws, got it. Sponge Chop, got it. Character C, don't got it. We got Mr. Plankton. We don't have that one, I don't think. And Sandy. Okay, so now we got two more cards to add here, guys. We are getting close. I think there's less than 10 cards now that are needed. We got a lot of packs to go. Is there a lot of duplicates? Or if we're lucky, a character card. Oh, right there. We got five. Pirate SpongeBob, we still need this one Very as well. Nice. QI? Yeah, we don't have that. We don't have QI. Sweet, these freaking things are adding up pretty quickly over here. All right, here we go. SpongeBob Guide to Surfing. What the hell is this thick ass thing here? I don't know. We are going to just scroll. I don't know what it is yet. Chill, chill, chill. Surf School. Patrick? What is this? This isn't the art card. I don't know what this is. Real sponge cards? So this is a real sponge card. Well, what does that mean? Like, is it a sponge? Find out. No, we don't have to do, uh, I don't know about that. Let's do it. Is this sponge card really a sponge? Sponges stop working after a certain period of time. There are a lot of questions here. All right, sponge card? Is he absorbent? Oh, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> he is absorbing quick! Oh my gosh, dude, he is quickly absorbing that. It's a sponge. Dude, it's a sponge now! It's a straight up sponge now! <laughs> that is pretty sick! We just straight up made a sponge! Alright, now that's creative. A SpongeBob sponge card. Credit to Tops. You did it. Alright, so that sponge card was awesome. I would like to get another one of those so I can put it in the binder. But either. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, let's see what we got here though. Alphabet card, we don't have- We don't have C. We don't have C or D, this D do well, we? Well, nobody has CDs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and the sponge card is oh, back! Oh, it's a different face! There's different faces! Man! This set has a lot of stuff to collect. I have to collect all the letters, all the greatest scenes, all the gum, and all the sponges. What I'm planning on doing is opening like a booster box per SpongeBob video when it comes to like the other set. And we'll just kind of work our way through these things slowly. Hopefully we can get this thing next to done by the end of this one though. All right.
right, so that was a freaking sponge car after not seeing any this entire time. So that's awesome. All right, so we don't have this one either. Let's see what we got behind that. LW. Definitely don't have that one. We don't have, we do have this one. We do have this one. I felt like these were going to be a lot harder, these uh, alphabet ones, but we are stacking them up pretty quickly. I'm starting to think maybe we could actually do that too. Man, dude, we are stacking up the creative scene. So let's do a scan real quick. We've already got all of these character cards. How many character cards do they make the creative scene? Scenes. We have all these creative scene cards already. A couple of them look very similar, but they're different. Yeah, we go got these ones right here. So we got F O. Or C J. I don't think we have J. We do have C, but we don't have J. There we go. Some of them, oh wait, Plankton. We didn't even see that. But what I wanted to mention to you guys was some of them they do share. So right here we have A K, but then we also have over here S A. So A is shared. So to complete the whole set, you actually kind of have to do it a little bit weird. But either way, but oh, Aviator SpongeBob right behind it and come on no more do oh another non do switching live we are at this point guys now where i get super happy just to see something new because odds are more likely for you to get a duplicate at this point all right rep pack so with that one we just finished the complete spongebob lost in time we got sponge gar we got ding a ding a dragon we got the knight we got pirate we got cowboy and aviator all for lost in time that is complete here let's just go through the pages see how many we need left in general right here we got that complete all the characters Characters right there. We are missing one, two, three. Complete pages. Oh, I love that look of complete pages. Four, five, six, six, six. We are closer to finishing this set than we are to Aquatic Amigos. Wow. <laughs> And all these freaking, these alphabet cards and all the creative cards. We are bodying this set, Rep Pack, for, for this. This is pretty good odds we're getting here. So like I said, guys, we are going to be looking for six cards at this point. So you probably won't see a lot of these packs because a lot of them will probably, wow. There's a lot less packs than I thought there was left. Oh, wow. <laughs> no wonder it was so much thicker. What was the point? I was like, man, we got a lot left. We got three packs left right back. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here, guys. Oh, right there. That is new. We do not have that character card. Flying Dutchman. Definitely not with the Flying Dutchman. We have LW. We have this one. We have this one. We have this one. All right, let's see what we got on this one. Got him. Got him. Do we have Oh, no. No, we don't have that one either, man. I think that has to be like every character card. There's like so many of them. Oh, E. Yeah, you hey, have that. E-O. E-I-E-I-O. Wow. <laughs> wow. Training for the big one. That's new as well. And dude, so oh. is that. We are killing it all of a sudden. Right here, the big one. That is awesome artwork. We got two of them right there of the six that we needed. Back in action. I think that's what we need. Oh, nice. What the heck? We are getting super lucky with the ones we need. Okay, totally stoked. We got that one. We do have this one. We have this one. We don't have We only have. We, okay, so now, guys, we counted these out. We have every single letter except for G. Dude, and we don't have grumpy old heroes. Or oh. the top line. <laughs> Dude, we might complete it. Come on. We are almost there one left no way no way that is one left in the entire set one card left in the whole set rep pack we got one pack left it what has, number is it? What number is it? It is number card number 21. It should involve Sandy. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we have this card. We have the secret book. We have Winnie Hut Jr. No, we do not need these. Ah, drink it up. Squid secret. Sandy, damn. Ah, come on. I told you Nickelodeon always leaves me with one. Always with one that I need. That means there's a reason to buy more. <laughs> Right here, we are going to get everything together and see what we have cataloged the whole thing with the character card, uh, the letters, everything. See what we need in total and we'll save that for the next time. All right, Rebecca. So, in my quest, in our quest of creating the ultimate, most complete SpongeBob trading card binder of all time, this is where we're at. So, on the Aquatic Amigos, we are still missing one, two, three, four, and also the eight Ultra Rares. But on this set, we got very lucky. The entire set is is complete except for one one card from the main set look check out this art page dude freaking epic and it's also this art page as well there's all full arts there's also a couple other cards that aren't part of the set but they're part of the mini set so for the creative scenes cards we are missing two number one and number three that is it for the creative scenes card only missing two and there's a spot right here you notice that it is just, uh, just sitting there right uh yeah there's nothing that goes there nothing that exists there in the set but that is 
where the signature sketch card is going to go if it ever gets pulled. I figure I have it right here at the end of the set. The freaking master card, the signature Paul Tibbet card, if that gets pulled, which it will eventually, right here. And then on the alphabet, we actually found out we had the complete alphabet A through Z on this as well. And the sponge card. Everything is good to go. Just need that signature card. And apparently this one Sandy card. <laughs> we should be good. If you guys want to see more of the 2009 SpongeBob set and see us complete the set, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, Rep Pack, you know the drill. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure I smash that like button. Let me know down below if you guys want to see more of the 2009's top set. And I will make sure it happens so we can complete this binder. But right here on your screen, if you guys didn't see, is the last SpongeBob card escapade. And that is with the Aquatic Migos 2003 set. Literally pulled $100 cards in there that were ultra rare. I'll let you guys go over there to see that. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Bloop.